Hey guys, FUP Obama here, along with my boy, 90s Baby Gamer. Once again. Once again, we're back to bring you part two in our emulator review series. And in this video, we're going to talk about the PCSX2. Now, the PCSX2 is a PS2 emulator. So you can play most of the PlayStation 2 library on it. Not the There's a separate emulator for the... PlayStation 1 that we'll get to, the PCSX. It's right? actually called the EPSXE. Oh, EPSXE. Blah, blah, blah. My bad. We'll do the video on it, and then you'll get the, the correct title. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. So, uh, what games do you play on it, Mr. 90s Whoa. Baby Gamer? Well, uh, I have played Metal Gear Solid 2 on it, beat that, and right now I'm actually playing Metal Gear Solid 3 on it. And for those who don't know, um, I actually do, and I still actually have it, because I haven't sold it yet, off my 360. And I have the HD collection as well, but that's simply not hooked up. So I've been playing some Metal Gear Solid 2 and some... Metal Gear uh, Solid 3 on it. Uh, I've also been playing the ESPN NFL 2K17 update that oh, they've done. That's yeah, right. And, and uh, not to promote my channel, you're going to do it anyway <laughs> later on. But um, <laughs> it is, you know, on my channel if you want to know more details about that. But um, uh, those plug. are the games that I've been playing. Uh, I've been playing MGS2, and I'm about to get into MGS3. So the, mm -hmm. I've only been playing those two games, but uh, I actually really enjoyed playing MGS2. Um, so let's go into, because we, we both played the, the Metal Gear Solid 2 game on it, let's go into right. what you need to run it. Because right. I feel and like that, that's an important fact about this emulator. And this is great because we both have very similar rigs. The only difference really between our rigs besides the uh, aesthetics would be the fact that your graphics card is a GTX 750 minus the TI version. Okay. So that's the biggest difference between our rigs, really. So um, we're both in the same boat pretty much when it comes to this emulator, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Um, I would say that with this emulator, too, we mentioned this in the PPSSPP video, uh, you will have to download a separate PCSX2 emulator to play online. But it's it's really no hassle. You can just go and download it. I'll s I'll give you guys the link below, and that'll right. hook you up for for your multiplayer. Just um, be aware, it's very limited to uh, certain 2D fighting games, but it's still a cool feature to have, uh, nonetheless. Yes, still very cool, still very awesome. Um, so yes, 90s baby game because I'm a little bit on the I should be more on the technical side but I'm, <laughs> I'm still a little bit behind so what are some uh, what are some improvements you can help to, to improve somebody's gameplay like what, what are some of the settings you found that, that have worked for you well um, I'll give you an example of the ESPN game there's oh, yes. a so since we have both uh, the same CPUs, I'll let everybody know, uh, we both have an Athlon X4 860K. Now, this CPU is, is really, really underrated when it comes to budget rigs. It may not be underrated. You may be thinking to yourself, oh, every rig uses that if, or if it's a budget rig. Uh, but I've been seeing more of along the lines of the FX series of CPUs, but anyway, Great for gaming. <laughs> However, emulators are kind of a different beast, right? They, they really require um, strong CPUs in order to have really good performance. This also goes for another emulator, which we'll get into a little bit later on in the series, but I'll save that for later. Um, but with this particular emulator, um, you probably want like an Intel uh, Core i3 at least. Core i5, Core i7 will serve you better just because of the per core performance. Um, I'm not a fanboy having an AMD CPU for Christ's sake. <laughs> so, but getting on All to right. what you can do, um, let, let's say you have ESPN and the commentators, they sound kind of drunk, right? Because <laughs> the gameplay is going slow and the sound's going slow with it. Uh, right. What you can do is you can tinker around in the settings, go to the plug-in settings and the audio, go into the synchronizing mode, and then change the time stretch, which is the recommended setting, to async mix, press OK, and the sound should be in line with 
what the frame rate is, or rather, the sound should be normal despite the frame rate drops. It can break some games, yes. especially if your game is running at like nine frames. Don't expect it to mix. I was gonna say, I was gonna say that's the one biggest caveat to this to this little uh, trick, I guess, is that mm -hmm. uh, sometimes on MGS2, if you if you do this trick, it will crash the game. So yeah, for just sure. be careful. The, the the little workaround for it that I found is all you have to do during it mostly happens during cutscenes, but all you have to do is um just switch it back to the original setting. Uh just the synchronized I I think it is. Um you switch it back to that and then it'll still go through and it'll it'll work and then you can switch it back and forth without interrupting the gameplay. Yeah, and the emulator lets you know too that it will break some games in parentheses next to that option. Right, but your uh, your NFL game, boy, that that looks so pretty, even yeah. even now. For a PS2 game, it's really like when you're in a dome and you get that lighting in when you're in stadiums. It, it's it's incredible to me for a PS2 game, and you know you're raising up the settings to make it look that good. Imagine if you can get it at like a 4K TV. It's it's pretty impressive what this uh, what these emulators can do. Put it out on the 4K TV. Woo! Yeah, I don't even have a 1080p TV, so let's not get crazy. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. And not to pr promote the game too much, although you have a lot of videos on your channel of it. Another shameless plug. Um, <laughs> uh, we'll uh, we'll actually also give you guys a, a link off because there's a update for it for the original NFL 2K it was 2K5 right? Right. 2K, right. And there's an update that this one guy did that brings the current 2016 rosters into the game. Yep. So that with, with the I believe with player faces or similar faces like he, he tries to tune it uh, to the player faces, and it has custom shaders in the game as well. So it actually does make it look better than the original. He did really all he could, and the guy who made it is Raid Sports, by the way. Raid and Sports. he did really all he could with the. Uh, really, they're limited when it comes to those older games. It's not like they can just mod it as easily as like a PC game. So great job. Yes, very good job. Um, are there any last tips or tricks? Anything? else you think we should mention? Well, I just want to touch base on what I was saying earlier about the AMD and the uh, Intel CPUs. Uh, AMD has been known to have some really great CPUs for like that, that those budget uh, rigs, I would say. Uh, if you're trying to go for something more high end, you're going to see all over the place people recommending the i5 and i7. That's just because of better core, uh, per uh, core performance. And really, Intel CPUs, when it comes to these modern emulators, they just perform better. And I would say definitely if, you're, if you have a budget rig and it's an AMD CPU, don't expect the world when it comes to this emulator. Don't expect to play you know, all these games and not run into some issues that you just can't really fix. So just be aware of that. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll leave it off there, guys. So remember, the the name of the emulator is the PCSX2. It runs PlayStation 2 games and most of the libraries on there. Uh, you just go through... The configuration's also pretty simple it's not too complicated we told you about the sound trick uh to you know just in case your your game may come into it may be one of those games that has a weird uh audio problem but it's it's kind of rare so you know you can still use that trick don't have to use it um just be aware that sometimes it may break your games but otherwise you guys should definitely check out this emulator play your favorite PS2 games. I actually know some people that are playing Vice City and Grand Theft Auto on it. Vice City and Grand Theft Auto. They, they are playing Grand Theft Auto on it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, guys. So thanks for watching. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, check out my boy 90s Baby Gamer on his channel hey. on YouTube. And thanks for watching. Check. Remember to check out part one 
and the next part coming to you in a couple of days. See ya.